welcome students here is the another problem on issue of shares and the feature of this problem is shares are forfeited in this problem so i have written here for feature of shares i will read the problem for you reliable company limited issued 1800 shares of rupees 500 each at par the amount of shares was payable as under on application rupees 50 on allotment rupees 100 on first call rupees 150 on final call rupees 200 applications were received for 1800 shares and they were fully allotted ishwar who was allotted 300 shares failed to pay first and final call so his shares forfeited pass journal entries for first and second call and for future so here they have asked to pass the journal entries regarding only for first call second call and second call means final call and for future okay so what are the features of this problem the information is given in the problem is company name of the company is reliable company limited here term of issue at par and i told you how to recognize that it is issued at par premium or discount compare your face value with the addition of this then you will easily recognize if it is exactly equal this addition is exactly equal uh, with exactly equal of face value then it is issue of shares at a par problem so it is at par issued shares are 1800 shares and received shares are 1800 shares type of subscription here equal subscription issued shares 1800 received shares 1800 so these shares are uh, received shares are exactly exactly equal to issued shares so the type of subscription is here equal subscription calls in arrears yes ishwar who was allotted 300 uh, who was allotted 300 shares failed to pay first and final call so all scenarios are there regarding first and final call then for future yes ishwar shares holding is 300 shares and he didn't pay first and final call that's why his shares forfeited so this is a problem regarding for future of shares now here students uh, they have to pass a new entry uh, student need to pass a new entry regarding for future of share so what is the entry entry is here see share capital account debit to call in arrears to share forfeited account being shares forfeited now how to calculate the amount of share capital here which is debited here uh, number of shares forfeited into called up money call in arrears unpaid amount on shares or allotment that is called call in arrears shares forfeited number of shares forfeited into paid up money so let us solve this problem journal entries in the books of reliable company limited number 1 entry which is first call due entry because they asked to pass entries regarding only for first and final call and for future of shares so first call due entry share first call account debit to share capital account being first call due how i calculated the amount issued shares into first call money issued shares 1800 into first call money is 150 product of this is 270000 second entry after due uh, due money on first call receiving the first call bank account debit call in arrears account debit to share first call account i intentionally mention here call in arrears account because we need this amount while passing the for future of ent uh, entry regarding for future of shares bank account debit to call in arrears account uh, bank account debit call in arrears account debit to share first call account being received first call except on 300 shares because ishwar did not pay the first call that's why call in arrears is there on first call so how i calculated the amount bank account debit 
issued shares minus amount not received on shares into first call okay so issued shares are 1800 issuer holding 300 shares who did not pay the first call so that shares should be minus from this issued shares so whatever amount is there that amount should be multiplied with first call money will get the bank account debit amount 2 lakh 25000 call scene arrears account unpaid shares into first call so unpaid shares 300 shares on first call are not, not received by the company uh, which was hold which is hold which was holded uh, which were holded uh, which is hold by issuer okay 300 into first call money 150 amount is 45000 to share first call account how to calculate it calculate this amount issued shares into first call issued shares 1800 shares into first call money is 150 so 2 lakh 70 thousand similar entry uh, for final call due final call due entry share final call account debit to share capital account being final call due formula is issued shares into final call money issued shares 1800 final call 200 so multiplication of this is 360000 now receiving the first call money call scenario is there on final call bank account debit call scenario account debit to share final call account being received final call except money on 300 shares issuer is there who is having 300 shares did not pay first call as well as final call so here bank account debit debit amount 3 lakh how i calculated this amount issued shares minus unpaid shares into final call money issued shares 1800 unpaid shares 300 whatever amount figure is there that, that should be multiplied with final call money that is 200 amount is 3 lakh call scenarios that is 60000 how i calculated this amount here c unpaid shares into final call unpaid shares 300 which is holded by uh, Ishwar uh, 300 into final call 200 so multiplication of this is 60,000 to share final call account how I calculated this 3,60,000 issued shares into final call money issued shares 1,800 final call 200 multiplication of this 3,60,000 so out of this 3,60,000 company received 3 lakhs and 60,000 is not received by a company because there is a call scenario on final call similarly here out of 2 lakh 70,000 company received 2 lakh 50,000 on first call 45,000 is not received by the company that's why it is a call scenario okay now our next entry is regarding forfeiture of shares see here share capital account debit to call scenarios account to forfeited shares account now share capital account debit amount is 1,50,000 how I calculated this amount if you see number of shares forfeited into called up money so how many shares are forfeited in this problem if you see uh, issuer who was allotted 300 shares failed to pay first and final call so his shares forfeited so 300 shares are forfeited by the company so here forfeited number of forfeited shares is 300 okay and called up money so called up money uh, how to get this called up money see here issued 1800 shares of rupees 500 each 500 it is a at par issued shares at a par so these applications are called allotment is called first call is called final call is called by the company so addition of this is a, exactly equal to our face value so this is our called up money okay so here called up money is 500 number of shares forfeited 300 called up money 500 multiplication of this is 1,50,000 okay call scenarios now we already calculated uh, uh, we already already uh, calculated this amount call scenarios see here call scenarios of first call 45,000 call scenarios on final call is 60,000 so addition of this 45,000 and 60,000 
is 1 lakh 5000 so unpaid amount on shares it is our calls in areas now forfeited shares account this is 45000 how i calculated this amount number of shares forfeited into paid up money number of shares forfeited we know that is 300 now paid up money so Ishwar is there who did not pay first and final call but he paid amount on application and allotment so here application amount is 50 allotment amount is 100 so this is our paid up money this is our paid up money so paid up money is 150 if you did not pay first call and final call that is, that's why it is not a paid up money so he paid application and allotment that's why this is the paid up money application 50 allotment 100 that is 150 so here number of shares forfeited 300 we know and paid up money i told you application 50 allotment 100 so 150 300 multiplied by 150 this is the amount 45,000 for forfeited shares account being shares forfeited. Thank you.